Hi guys, so recently I put up a video about 20 miles per hour speed limits and I got a lot of feedback, a lot of comments on that, so thank you very much for that. And a couple of issues were raised. An issue regarding the emission levels driving at 20 miles per hour rather than 30 miles per hour. A lot of people seem to be convinced that actually the emission levels are higher if you drive slower rather than faster. Believe you me, I looked for evidence. I looked for research and data that would indicate that that was the case. I failed to find it. What I found was evidence that actually uh, pollution levels in every sense actually drop when you drive at a slower speed. In some sense, that's kind of logical. Let's take, for example, the aspect of tires and brakes. As we now know, a lot of the particular emissions from cars is coming from brakes and from tires. Well, you're going at a lower speed, you're putting less stress on the tires, you're using less of the braking because you're not having to brake as much. So therefore, that is obviously fundamentally reduced. Now, where people were particularly adamant was that there were two aspects. One aspect was that people said that because you're taking longer to go from A to B, then you're putting out more emissions and in fact at any one point along that journey you will have left more emissions because you're going slow, slower through that point. I don't have any stats or figures or anything. If anybody has any data on that, please share it with me. But from my understanding of it is that because the overall level of your emissions, your tailpipe emissions are less anyway, then that cancels out any extra time that you're spending on it. It kind of balances off and I don't think that it would certainly not be any more and it is expected to be slightly less. If anybody has any data on that, then do please share it with me. I could not find anything. And the other thing that people say is that, well, if you're driving at a lower speed, and because we ultimately now we're talking about tailpipe emissions, if you're driving at a lower speed, you're polluting more because you're having to drive in a lower gear because you're driving slower. So you're driving in a lower gear, and when you're in a lower gear, your revs are higher. So if the revs are higher, that means the engine is working harder. That means there is more emissions coming out of the tailpipe. Now, this is something that I needed to test for myself. So I've actually done it with another car. I'll come back to that in a minute. Let's first of all go and do it in my car. And my car is a 1989 BMW 3 Series. It's an E30 as people know it. Now this is a six cylinder, it's a straight six engine. So it's the largest engine. It's a 2.5 liter, it's got a manual gearbox. Let's go and do it and then we'll see what we find. Brown car guy. So it's nicely warmed up, so the car is at optimum operating temperatures and everything like that. So let's give this a try. So first of all, I'll do 20 miles per hour. So I'm doing 20 now in second. This is very high revs. Let's put it up into third. Now in third gear, I'm doing 1,000, just a fraction over 1,000 RPM. Will it do it in fourth? Yeah, this car is happy doing it in fourth. It does, it's, I'm not happy. But the car is happy. The car is happily doing it in fourth, not an issue. I'm actually now below 20, and now I'm cruising at 20, back at 20, fourth gear. Car is perfectly happy, no issues whatsoever. Um, so that's all fine. So now let's give it a try, and the revs, I should say, and in fourth gear at 20, and the revs are below 1000 RPM. So that makes sense. So in third gear, it was fraction over 1000 rpm and to be honest like now i'm not even using any throttle it's just it's just running by itself so <laughs> the car is just happily running um and it's and it's actually doing a fraction over 20 if i'm honest it's doing a fraction over 20 and a fraction under 1000 rpm now let's give now let's give 30 miles per hour a try okay so let's get it up to 30 miles per hour this time okay we're now doing 30 this is second let's go up into third Third and 30 is actually 1,600 RPM, I would say. Let's take it up into fourth gear. Fourth gear, 30 miles per hour, we are doing 1,011, I, I would say a little bit over 1,000 RPM again. So we're doing about 1,100 RPM, I would say. Happy to, happy to do it in fourth gear, not an issue. So yeah, in fourth gear, 20 miles per hour, that was about 800 to 900 RPM. Fourth gear, 30 miles per hour, it's about 1100 rpm 
now what about the other car this car the thing about this car is that it's a big engine uh, it's a big lusty engine and this is where you know there's a little bit of a, um, a misunderstanding or a misperception when it comes to bigger engines people think they are less efficient or less economical and they put out more emissions and the reality is that bigger engines are often less stressed and because they're less stressed they're actually running better so you know so they actually they don't need as much revs they don't need as much fuel they're running uh, more efficiently and more leanly so in fact bigger engines often have it so in this scenario bigger engine and this engine has got a lot of low down torque so the torque is there from very low revs so then it, therefore it makes sense that actually the car is very comfortable cruising along in third gear fourth gear very low speeds it doesn't really mind because it can handle it because the engine is absolutely happy with that no problem at all so if I go straight into fourth gear 20 miles per hour and it's fine and in fact it's just taken over it's just driving now it's not even me anyway let's talk about the other car now Brown car guy. right then so for the other car I actually borrowed an older one liter little city car so a very small thing so something that you know it's got less than 100 horsepower and stuff like that um, uh, actually way less but less than 80 horsepower I would say anyway so that car this is what I found I drove it at 30 miles per hour and in fourth gear it was doing 1700 rpm so fourth gear seven th oh, sorry fourth gear 30 miles per hour 1700 rpm that's what it was doing 20 miles per hour it didn't like fourth gear it really didn't it, it could barely cope with it you know it, it was it was it was vibrating it was struggling it, it it was not happy in fourth gear it didn't want to do it in fourth gear at all 20 miles per hour no not fourth gear third gear had to be so therefore a lot of people are correct in saying that you have to drive in a lower gear when you're doing it in a car like that in a car like this it didn't matter this one no problem fourth gear but that car didn't do fourth gear well, it could do Ford gear, but it was not happy. It was very uncomfortable for the car and for the driver and passengers. However, at, uh, in third gear, it was absolutely fine. So now the key thing is, what RPM was it doing in third gear compared to 1700 RPM in fourth gear at 30 miles per hour? In fact, it was doing 1500 RPM in third gear at 20 miles per hour so it's clear there that it was doing 200 uh, rpm less than at 20 miles per hour even though it was in a higher gear than it was doing at 30 miles per hour which was in fourth gear so unfortunately i still can't substantiate the claim that emissions will increase at lower speed everything that i found so far confirms that emissions will all kinds of emissions will reduce when you're driving at a lower speed and i guess in many ways it's, let's be honest it's kind of logical really isn't it however the other questions regarding the 20 miles per hour limit and the psychology behind it and the fact that you know most people and as from my from what i've seen when i'm out and about nobody's obeying as we've had these introduced recently in some of the roads in our area and nobody's obeying them so there's a whole different thing in fact if anything I've seen an increase in danger because what I've seen is that the on the rare occasions when you do find somebody is sticking to the 20 miles per hour limit then you end up and if there's if it's a busier time like right now it wasn't very busy but when if it's a busier time or one of the busier roads then you get out you end up with a stream of cars behind them and the next thing they all want to do is to try and overtake that car and some of them get very frustrated and I have seen one or two extremely dangerous uh, and, and rash moves to overtake a car that's doing 20 miles per hour so if anything you could argue that it makes the situation worse anyway that's a different argument in this one I wanted to address the issue regarding emissions those are my findings let me know what you think thanks a lot and I will see you all in the next video Brown car Hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please, please hit the like button and share this video as well if you can. And while you're at it, check out these guys who also sponsor my content. I am deeply grateful to them because it helps me to buy new equipment, put fuel in the cars, and yes, buy a cup of coffee. You can do the same. Just go here or right here on YouTube. Just hit these three little dots down here and click on thanks. Make sure you're signed in first. My content is free. But this is how you can help me keep it that way. I may even send you a gift. Oh, by the way, watch this next.